Hello, everyone. Uh, we're checking in with Jen's deputy editor, Juliana Lemieux, one more time. It's the end of day three and the end of uh, AGBT in Hollywood, Florida. And Juliana, I see we've traded the palm trees for a better Wi-Fi signal, correct? Yeah, sorry, Kevin. It's too windy outside to do it yeah. outside today, but... Well, we're eager to hear what's happened on day three, but I suppose we need to begin, and I ask this with a little trepidation, uh, what happened on the evening of day two? I know, and I'm going to take my badge off, Kevin. We're all done with the meetings, nice. um, which is is always nice. So, yeah, we have to talk about last night because, um, you know, I've been to AGBT several times, and I feel like I've grown to know what to expect a little bit, but I never expected to be, find myself dancing at a Flo Rida concert next to Jay Flatley and James Hadfield. I mean, Pac Bio sponsored this Flo Rida evening and the concert was an absolute blast. Everybody had a lot of fun. Um, and it was just totally surreal. Was the CEO on stage, you know, doing stuff as he did uh, a few months ago at, at ASHG? Actually, so Christian is not here, um, unfortunately. But yeah, there were Pac Bio yeah. people. Yeah, yeah, so. Good. So so that was the highlight. Did you make it to, I guess there was an 80s themed party as well? No, I did. I The the Flo Rida concert was kind of that it. Was, that tonight. was the big yeah. draw. Okay. Yeah. Uh, good. So what, what's happened uh, today on the, on the closing day of the conference? What stood out? Yeah. So, I mean, kind of, kind of actually going off of that, I mean, Pack Bio, I, I guess that's kind of their, um, you know, like big fun rock band is, is kind of their personality maybe at, at, to, you know, at this, at this meeting. And of course they had a rock band at the last meeting. Um, and if we're talking about kind of, I, I do feel like some other personalities of the companies have come out a little bit, like for example, Ultima Genomics, which last year, made such a splash, you know, came out of stealth in a very big way. Um, and everybody was in the suite, you know, just, it was always packed. They've been incredibly quiet here this year. In fact, I, I almost had a hard time finding their CEO, Galad Almoji to, to have an interview. And, and I actually just happened to bump in him in the elevator. So they've been very quiet. Um, you know, I think just not, you know, and we, we, mentioned this yesterday, just the the companies, a lot of the NGS companies made huge announcements last year. And this year they're kind of like, we're doing our thing. We're making, you know, we're getting our instruments out. We're making our improvements. And, and that's kind of, um, that's kind of that. So they've been very quiet. Although I, I did, um, I did speak with Gal. I did end up um, having an interview with him. Uh, should we talk about Element? Yeah, we should. I I had a, the pleasure of sitting down with um, Matt Kellinger this morning, and I really want. Yesterday at at their talk, they talked about their new cloud break chemistry, and I wanted to um, ask him a couple of questions about that. It's faster, which is, I mean, I guess there's other improvements, but the big one is that it's it cuts the runtime down. Um, and he explained to me it's mostly because of new enzymes that are being used in the chemistry. Um, and also, they at his talk yesterday, you know, he was he was very um, very directly actually comparing elements sequencing with Illumina's. So really, um, you know, being saying, you know, this is, this is, uh, where we stand, this is what we have. And, and let's, let's look at the, all the data from the price, accuracy, speed, everything. Yeah. All right. So that'll be, that'll be a fun one to watch over the next, uh, several months. Yeah. What about on the, uh, in, in the, on the main stage, what, uh, what talks have impressed you? Oh, well, you know, we just finished the afternoon talks and um, one that really stood out was a talk by um, uh, Andrew Russell was his name. And he's a postdoc in Fei Chen's lab. So oh, yeah. Fei Chen's lab was part of um, the group at the Broad, along with Evan McCosco and Sam Rodriguez, who pioneered the slide seek spatial technology. And um, and which, of course, I should mention, slide seek was commercialized this week by a company called Curio Bioscience. Um, yeah, but you're all over that story. I wrote the story this week, but interestingly, Curio is not here. Hmm. So, um, but it was it was great to hear a new based on Slide Seek, but a new innovation. It's called Slide Tags, which actually they're tagging the nucleus of cells. So it's it's another single cell spatial technology tagging the nucleus, and so um, so that was a really cool presentation that just just happened this afternoon. 
Well, it's, I'm sure it's been a really intense three days and uh, there's uh, you know a lot of uh, uh, mental activity in the evenings as well. So you, I'm, I, can, I can imagine you are pretty tired. What, yeah. as you sort of try to look back now over the entire conference and take it all in and think about what, what, what you're going to bring, bring back to New York with you, what's, what, what stands out? Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, I'm going to assume and probably tonight, actually, I'm going to start writing a big AGBT roundup story. And it's actually, it's, it's very, it's become very clear over the last three days that it's going to be very different from the AGBT roundup of last year. So the, the news of the NGS sequencing companies from last year, like saturated a lot of the other news that was going on, you know, I mean, there was a ton of spatial going on too, but the NGS stuff was just so big. And so kind of splashy. But this year, as I've said now, this is like the third time, I guess I'm saying it, but like their, their announcements are smaller. There are new flow cells, new kits, um, you know, higher accuracy, just smaller improvements. And so I think what that leaves room for are the smaller, the, you know, the other advances that aren't in sequencing or even in spatial, for example, single cell genomics. I mean, 10X genomics, has had advances as well. Parse Biosciences here, they're a smaller company that has a kit, so no platform necessary for single cell RNA-seq. Um, I met with a new company called Pixelgen, and they have a whole new technology called molecular pixelization, which is actually locating proteins on the outsides of cells. Um, so, you know, I think a lot of those other types of companies and announcements will make it into the write-up this year. Yeah, so we look forward to that. And uh, we have two events, we touched on them yesterday, but we'll we'll plug them again uh, right now. Um, so you're hosting Gen Live, a monthly video talk show um, that you produce and anchor. Uh, and this is gonna be a full AGBT uh, recap. It, I'm really looking forward to this one. So Gen Live next week, Juliana, who do you have on the show? Oh yeah, Gen Live is gonna be so much fun. So we're going to do a big AGBT recap roundup. I um, mean, we'll be able to break down all the announcements and all the news. Um, and so joining me, I have actually, I, I normally only have two guests, but I'm going to have five guests next week. So it's um, on the NGS side. It's um, Charlie Johnson, who runs a core at Texas in Texas, and, and he's a plant, um, plant biologist. Um, also, Keith Robeson, who is a genomics expert and writes Omics Omics blog. Um, and also Catherine Aquino, who runs a, a core facility as well. Then on the spatial side, we'll have, although, you know, actually all these people can talk about everything, but Jasmine Plummer, director of uh, spatial omics at St. Jude's Hospital. Um, and also Anoja Pereira, who runs the core at the Stowers Institute and does NGS and spatial. So they were all here all week with me. We've been talking about things, you know, here, but we're going to continue the conversation next week. It'll be a lot of fun. That sounds great. That's on February the 15th, uh, full registration details uh, at the GEN website. And then at the end of the month on February the 28th, I know you're hosting a panel discussion as part of the state of genomics and NGS, I guess, I'm sure AGBT will come up again. And who are your guests on that? Yeah, um, for that, we're going to have Sean Baker and also Simon Barnett. Fantastic. That'll be a lot of fun too. Yeah, that should be great too. And I'm guessing your next conference, it's uh, back to AGPT again, right? <laughs> yeah, well, I'll start thinking about that one on Monday, Kevin. <laughs> okay, so AGPT Ag is next month in yes, San Antonio. Yeah, so you mentioned Ag. plant biology. They're, they're uh, making a big effort to branch out into that space too. So, Julianne, it's been really fun uh, connecting with you over the last uh, few days. Um, and enjoy your remaining time uh, in Florida. Thanks, Kevin. All right. See you soon. See you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.